Hey guys, Disembodied Brock here to give a special shout out to our top tier patrons on Patreon and let you know that we have some amazing Toucan merch. This all goes to help the birds and I out exponentially and we cannot thank you enough. If you'd like to help in other ways and enjoy the channel, please make sure to like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell. We hope you enjoy and maybe learn a thing or two about toucans. Hey guys, so we're going to be doing something a little bit different today. As you all know, lately there has been a lot of hormones flying around, especially if you have a bird, they get into their hormonal season. And for toucans, that means they get a little more aggressive. They turn into a little more huntery, so to speak. <laughs> and I have... I have a lot I want to say about that because people ask about it a lot, so I figured I'd do a video on it. Um, how predatory are toucans? A lot of people say that they're opportunistic predators, and I don't quite know how much I believe that. I think they are actually active predators, especially during this time of the year. So, for a toucan, when it comes time for breeding, when it comes time for feeding their young, things like that, they, they start actively hunting for things because they need the calcium, they need the protein, all that kind of stuff to kickstart their reproductive cycle. And it's absolutely essential in captivity for breeders to do this. A lot of times they'll do it with super worms or uh, pinky mice, things like that. Stuff they can find that's low in iron but still is high in protein. Uh, they'll feed the babies this and the adults need it before they actually start mating, going through the courtship process, all that kind of stuff to even get everything started. So for Maeve, who's going through puberty right now, and this has been something I've observed specifically with her, but also with Beatrix, I noticed. I didn't notice this with Ripley or Tupac. Of course, they're larger toucans, but with Maeve, she'll actually, she's been actively making not only a lot of noise, but uh, going around looking for things to exercise her hunting instincts. And something really interesting that I've found with Maeve and Beatrix has been that they tend to want to, how do I put this? Of course, we're using toys here. We're not using live prey or anything like that, but they'll take the toys, kind of like a cat exercises its hunting instincts with a toy. Toucans will do the same thing. Maeve has actually, she'll take the toy, she'll thrash it, shake it, step on it, try to tear at it like normal. And what she actually does is she'll go to her water dish and hold the toy under the water and shake it. And this has led me to believe that they may possibly have some sort of instinct to drown prey so it's easier for them to eat it and tear it apart because they don't have the greatest bill strength with their actual bill, like clasping power, but they have a lot of strength in their neck. They can shake, they can thrash, they can jab and peck, they can tear, they can't really clamp down. So you're going to see footage of Maeve here, but we're also going to be taking a look at, and we're going to take a look at a few, some footage here. Uh, this footage I've collected over the past few years of toucans doing various hunting things. We'll start with, we'll start with this channel build toucan here. Okay, so this channel build toucan is hunting a parrot, believe it or not. So this is one of the reasons I say don't mix toucans with other types of birds, because you'll notice that this parrot is almost the same size as the actual bird itself. Like channel build toucans are somewhere around the same size as what Maver Beatrix would be. This is the aerial variation of the channel build toucan. You'll see how it's holding. It's got this parrot here. Unfortunately, whoever was filming it didn't actually get the capture and killing of the parrot. But we have here, it seems like it's a pretty far distance away, judged by the camera shake, but it's holding it down with its feet, much like Maeve playing with her toy. Shaking it, pecking at it. Much of the same kind of behavior you'd see with my birds, obviously, but in the wild. This is what it's actually for. They have pretty strong feet. They can actually hold it down to the perch and they'll use their beak to thrash and tear at it to get pieces off. Right now it looks like it's trying to get through its feathers and its skin.
And what's amazing to me is it's actually strong enough to carry this thing around, too, and fly with it in its bill to other branches and things like that. And finally here, it looks like it actually did get a piece that it's trying to swallow. It's unclear whether or not this particular bird has a nest nearby or if it's just hunting for itself, but they'll oftentimes share the same item within their flock. I see it's actually got a pretty good bit torn into it now. So they're a lot stronger than you would think. A lot stronger with that neck muscle. So let's move on to the next clip here. Um, again, we have a Swainson's toucan in this case, or it might be a Rymphastos ambiguous, I'm not sure, but this is a bat that it has. And uh, ambiguous and Swainsoni are very closely related. They're actually subspecies, so very similar. Again, tearing at it, just like we saw with the parrot, with the much the smaller toucan, the channel build toucan earlier. Now we're gonna we're gonna move on here to this nest rating is one thing that they'll do as well, and you can actually see this in the BBC documentary uh, The Life of Birds with David Attenborough. There's one on eggs where you can see toco toucans rating the nests of caciques, and they're very well known for doing this. And they actually work in pairs and teams to distract the parents while one will go and get the eggs or the babies out of the nests. And you can see here that these other birds, I'm not sure what they are, but they're actually mobbing this toucan right here as it's reaching inside the nest cavity in this palm tree, trying to find the eggs or whatever goodies might be inside there. And their bill is very well adapted and equipped to get into crevices like this. And I've found with the toucans that I've had that they, they tend to like to dig in pockets and things, I think to exercise that instinct. Uh, they wanna dig chapstick or whatever, your phone, whatever you might have in your pocket out to see what might be good in there. The bottom of these dangling nests of caciques in South America are certainly difficult to reach. But the red-breasted toucan has a long beak. This toucan's bill is just not long enough for these particular nests. But the toco toucan has an even longer one. The caciques are extremely agitated. and with good reason. If the caciques are to defend themselves against these powerful bandits, they will have to build even longer nests in the future. Now here we have a uh, green billed toucan. Again, it has a bird. It's not very recognizable anymore without the feathers, but it is a bird. Another bird. And this isn't cannibalism, contrary to popular belief, if they're eating eggs and stuff. Uh, because they're eating uh, birds in a completely different family. 
completely different genus, everything, than what they're in. They're not even in the order Pisiforms, these particular birds, parrots especially aren't. And the green-billed toucan is actually the, one of the smallest toucans. So even with its smaller size, it's able to overpower an animal of similar size and do what you're seeing here. Now this one's particularly interesting because it's uh, the first time I've ever seen scavenging with toucans. Uh, these are keel-billed toucans. Someone set up some GoPros here next to this carcass. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is. Maybe we'll get a better look at it in a second, or somebody in the comments might be able to recognize the feathers and stuff. But there's a group of keel-billed toucans come and scavenge this, the body. You see the other one comes in for a landing here. Scavenging it off the ground, which is uh, incredibly interesting. I've never seen this before. I've seen them, you know, eat hunted kills in the trees, but these keel build toucans decided it would be a cool idea to go ahead and just uh, take the easy path <laughs> and get this bird that's already on the ground, which I can't blame them. And then they fly off shortly after. Uh, this is from a uh, Spanish documentary, I believe. Let's see here. We're going to play it. We got hummingbirds. Oh, look how cute the hummingbirds are. Oh, how nice. Look how beautiful. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> we have a nice snack here for our toucan friends. <laughs> But that's the clip from that documentary I found was interesting. That's the only, that's the only part of it of note with the toucans. I'll, again, with Swainson's toucans, one was a juvenile in that case. Um, here we have Swainson's toucan again. Also, uh, it has a parrot in its beak. It's unclear to me what kind of parrot this is, but like the channel build toucan from earlier, it is making work out of it and its friend here and its flock is also very interested. And you can see it tosses it around with relative ease. Here's one that's a little less horrifying, <laughs> but I still thought was interesting. Uh, this is a Coviere's toucan. A subspecies of Maeve's white-throated or red-billed toucan with more black instead of red in the bill. It's sitting on this tree here, waiting for termites to come by so that it can catch them out of the air. Oh, got one. It's amazing how uh, well their coordination is with their beak and their eyes. They can see to the very tip of the bill like this. So even though they can't, a lot of their vision's obstructed around their eyes they can still kind of see out to the tip, if that makes sense. So they can still kind of have a, a good idea of where the tip of their bill will be, where they can catch things easily. That's why they're so good at catching, like you've seen um, my birds do. They catch fruit or whatever else is thrown at them. And then we have here some footage of a toco toucan raiding a nest here. Maybe somebody can clarify in the comments what kind of nest this is. It doesn't look like a cacique nest. Looks a little more built up. But they're very skilled at tearing these things apart and finding whatever goods might be inside. See, they work on it for quite a bit. And the other, the other bird in the pair is probably off distracting the parents while this one does its work on the nest. And they're likely going to bring whatever they find back to their babies, whether they regurgitate it or you know, uh, actually bring the whole food items to the babies. Baby toucans will actually come out of the egg eating whole fruit or, you know, pieces of flesh, whatever the parents might bring them. They don't have a crop like other birds, so they don't get crop milk. They get whole food items that the parents will either take directly to the babies 
or they'll regurgitate the whole piece of food out for them. And then this one, most of you are probably kind of familiar with this one because I've uploaded it on the channel before. Uh, again, a toco toucan raiding an unknown bird's nest uh, and it's swallowing the chick's hole. So they are not to be messed with here. <laughs> it's not just eggs and it's not just the babies that are in danger of the toucan, but also bigger birds like you've seen parrots that are of almost similar size to the toucans. And the thing about toucans is that they have a lot of balls. And by that, I mean they are willing to attack animals larger than themselves. And I'm going to show you some examples of that. Um, first of all, we're going to look at this quick little clip here. Because this is a quaddy. Uh, again, a Coviere's toucan, similar to Maeve. Look at, see how brave it is? It has no problem going up to this thing and possibly attacking it. I mean, it did get in a scuffle there, and it's not really shook by the encounter, you know? It's pretty confident. <laughs> it just hops confidently over to the little uh, garden or whatever this is here. And then here, uh, man, this, this, this particular clip uh, kind of disturbs me a little bit. I mean... A toucan's given the ability to, like, interact with this jaguar cub here. And uh, I don't know why this was allowed to happen. This is just a disaster waiting to happen. I think, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to leave the person's watermark in here because it's his video. And they deserve credit for the video, obviously, because they've shot it. But um, I think maybe they run maybe a rescue or a refuge for jaguar. I'm not sure. But under no circumstances would I let a toucan interact with an animal like this. It's, it's just going to end badly for one of them. I mean, look here, I'll sh watch this video. It's a jaguar cub, a toco toucan, it has no problems just messing with it and effing with it. And it pokes it in the eye. And obviously the cub is not too happy about that. <laughs> It wipes at its eye, and the toucan doesn't, the bravery of toucans, no, no bounds. They are very cocky birds, and the thing just can, the bird just continues messing with it. It's just like, get out of my space, all right? I know you're bigger than me. You got claws. You got teeth. I don't care. And the weird thing is that toucans just, they don't have, especially toco toucans, they don't have really any predators once they reach adulthood. Maybe birds of prey, something like that, possibly snakes while they're sleeping. But most animals just leave them alone because they're too quick and they're too... And my, I think my theory is that they're just intimidating to other animals. And especially with that big bright orange beak just says danger. And I think most animals probably just leave them alone because of that. But there's not a lot of footage or evidence of them being actively preyed upon. In fact, like with Aeroceres, they've nested below the nests of harpy eagles specifically to keep potential predators like snakes or monkeys from eating their eggs because the eagles know that the Aeroceres are too fast for them to catch and they're just not worth it. It's easier to get a sloth or a monkey out of a tree rather than chase down a speedy toucan that might bite you or poke your eye out in the process. So, but anyways guys, that's just some interesting footage I thought you guys might enjoy. Um, what can I say? Toucans are really interesting, unique animals. I love them so much. I want to share this kind of stuff with you guys more often where we have footage of wild toucans doing their thing. So there's a little more context to what's going on here with my birds because they're in a different circumstance, obviously. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like. If you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll see you guys very soon with the next live stream and, and the next video probably sometime this week. So everyone take care.